He was the last samurai. His life was worth living. <laughs> Hey everyone, for today's video I'm watching The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. I had no idea this was going to be with Tom Cruise, let alone it being somewhat of a newer movie, 20 years still, still newer to me, it was in the 90s, it wasn't before then, so I consider it new. I have no idea what this movie is about, but I did not expect Tom Cruise to be in it. So just judging by the title, The Last Samurai, I'm assuming that this is about samurais and Tom Cruise is a samurai, which I didn't expect and I really don't know where it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it because I am lost when it comes to this movie entirely, apparently. Also, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe in order to catch all of my latest videos. And if you happen to want to watch the full length reactions, those will be down below in the description. There's a link to my Patreon. And if you happen to want to follow my life, um, I'll be posting more on Instagram and Twitter since I am graduating. So I think my life will uh, finally be picking up again. So I'm super excited about that. You guys have no idea. Other than that, let's just jump straight into the movie. They say the old gods tipped a coral blade into the ocean, and when they pulled it out, four perfect drops fell back into the sea, and those drops became the islands of Japan. That's beautiful. I really like that, actually. Japan was made by a handful of brave men, warriors willing to give their lives for what seems to have become a forgotten word, honor. And Tom Cruise has infiltrated this. This <laughs> is, I... It's my dream. My dream destination is to one day visit Japan, 100%. It's been a compulsion ever since I was so little. It's, I've always wanted to go there. By bringing you a true American hero. Captain Nate Aldrin. He's going to be recruited as a samurai. <laughs> I want to see how this goes. From Tom Cruise being a hero in the United States, to his association to Japan. Let's let's see how that goes. Uh, son, have you ever seen what this could do to a man? You want to see? Daddy, six inches wide. <gasps> oh. That's right, Missy. You could kill yourself five, six, seven braves without ever having to reload. Note the patented loading port. Is he selling a gun? What's happening? He's an actor, or is he a salesman? <laughs> He's a menace to society. Commercial opportunities. Mr. McCabe here will take your orders. Salesman! Okay, so I went from thinking he's a samurai, to a hero, to an actor, to a salesman. I did not expect that transition. I'll kill Japos. I'm not asking you to kill anybody. You want me to kill the enemies of Japos? I'll kill the enemies of Japos. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. <gasps> Ooh, but he's getting you this job. But Tom Cruise doesn't like killing people. So the job entails Tom Cruise sailing across to Japan, and I suppose training warriors. He's hired muscle, he's a hired gun as well. I didn't expect that, actually. Uh, Captain Auburn, I presume? That guy! Yes. I forgot How'd his name! How'd you do? Simon Graham. That guy, though! For 2,000 years, no emperor was even seen by a commoner. You have to realize what an absolute treat this is, what an honor. I can only imagine how nerve-wracking this must be. Especially going to a culture that's so highly traditional and not knowing any of the traditions, I would be freaking out. The Divine Emperor Meiji bids you welcome. He is grateful for the assistance your country offers. He has the Michael Jackson glove! How well does he know this man? Well, the General and Katsumoto fought together for the Emperor. He fought with the Samurai. He is Samurai. Ooh, so he knows. So who is going to be the last Samurai? Is this just... The last generation of samurai? I don't know. <gasps> the other guy said he has no regrets, but Tom Cruise definitely does. He killed children. No wonder his hesitation of doing this again. That's saddening. They're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. They're savages with bows and arrows. Whose sole occupation for the last thousand years has been war. I am ordering the regiment to move against the rebel Katsumoto. Oh, they're not he ready. Track him down and engage him. Listen to the guy training them. He knows what he's talking about. There's a reason he's doing the job. Mr. Graham, tell this man 
If he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Okay. He missed entirely because they're not ready. And Tom Cruise really just wanted to drive that point home. Like, dude, it's not going to work. They need time. They're not ready. I like his tactic. Very Regiment good. leaves at 6 a.m. What? You guys, you guys are going to, you're going to fail. It's... This is not gonna go well. Mm -mm. Sergeant Gant, report to the rear and see to the disposition of the supply trains. Now! No disrespect intended, sir, but shove it up your ass. Ooh, I like him. Somebody come. You'll be fine, sir. All right, time for some guerrilla warfare. I know, I know it, it hasn't been invented in about a hundred years, but time to start. <laughs> Tom's like, listen, I have the high ground, I have a horse, I'm gonna win this. <gasps> no! No! No, no, you kill that man, Tom! Tom, kill that man! Alright! I'm impressed with his battle technique. One man army over- <gasps> He's taking on so many men and then that guy's gonna be the samurai man big man is gonna be very impressed with him and be like listen don't kill him he's he's like a true warrior this guy and i respect him dude because he was once a samurai so he's going to kill himself oh no i have a feeling tom feels like he's failed you know his men his side his friends but he let them know that they weren't ready. He's right, they were training for hundreds, I don't know if he said hundreds of thousands of years in the art of just war. But you know what, give us a, a couple weeks, you know, they'll be ready, right? We got guns, who cares? Not that easy. What is your name? Tom Cruise. <laughs> Ooh, what are you gonna do about that? Trying to scare him ain't gonna work. Forget roosters, you have Tom Cruise to wake up the whole village, huh? I don't know if he's feeling physical effects from his injuries or if it's entirely psychological, so I'd like if somebody could clarify on that for me. Morning. I think he's gonna start realizing that it's such a quaint, peaceful village and why would he ever want to, you know, destroy it and harm these people? That maybe war isn't the way? No! Although they're going through battle training, there's such a peaceful, serene aspect to it. Oh my gosh. I guess he's really finally becoming immersed in the culture. I don't know. Guesses. Who's a warrior in the red armor? My brother-in-law, Hirotaro. And the woman who cares for me? My sister, Hirotaro's wife. Her name is Taka. I killed her husband? It was a good death. <gasps> and she has to host him in her home? They're so accommodating and welcoming. I, I really like this. It's very, it's heartwarming. Although he's a prisoner, it's very heartwarming. Tell me of your part in this war. Why? I wish to learn. Read a book. I would rather have a good conversation. Why? Because. We are both students of war. Huh? This man is so respectful. I really, really like his character. I continue to live among these unusual people. Everyone smiles and bows. From the moment they wake, they devote themselves to the perfection of whatever they pursue. I love that. Something you could definitely respect. What does it mean to be samurai? To devote yourself utterly to a set of moral principles. <laughs> <laughs> They're such bullies. I feel so bad for Tom Cruise. He's so respectful and he's trying to help, you know? Fight. 
Muero. 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 I think she is almost grateful and happy that he's teaching her children how to speak English, like a new skill, but at the same time, she feels so much pain, I guess. Come in the sky for your husband, Hiro Taro. This is the first apology or anything, any sort of softness that, that she's hearing on behalf of her husband. So. So I think she's, she's gonna begin softening up now because he stepped up and apologized, I believe. Like, he, he's the only one to show any softness towards it. Her husband's death, although he committed it, you know? I do know it is here that I have known my first untroubled sleep in many years. He's becoming at peace with himself. It's almost a journey within himself, I believe. You know, he was so troubled going through all of the PTSD that he had and trauma he'd lived through. You know, and I believe he's finally becoming at peace with himself. Ooh. Intense slow mo. Another thing that I actually really like in this film is the choreography. I can't imagine doing any of this, but there's actual force within all of their moves. Are you okay? He's getting better. He's beginning to respect him, the guy who was such a bully. When I took this. You are my enemy. No, he's not. Emperor's scared. He doesn't trust himself. He doesn't have confidence. Last year, we are not prepared to go to battle. You are right, and Colonel Bagri was wrong. But now we are ready. If Katsumoto is allowed to attract other samurai to his cause, we will have 10 years of rebellion. I'm confused because Katsumoto is meeting with the emperor as we speak and they're on good terms. Yet everybody else wants to go to war with each other. I don't... Then we will make a new contract. One that will recognize the extraordinary contribution you have made to the emperor. Do we understand each other? Yes, we understand each other perfectly. Then I am pleased. This man is the real villain. The army is like the the war efforts. Those are the real villains. Not the rebellion leader Katsumoto, not the emperor. He's literally a general. Not really a general. I kind of, I guess. Let them cut your hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. Katsumoto Sangi. Ooh. But the Emperor is very naive. He only looks for what many people will think of him. See, he's not proud, he's not confident. The Emperor has no guts, he would not stand up for himself. Although he knows what's right. He's such a good guy. It's basically the system and its people that are failing him. Modernization. He's a man full of virtue and values, and he's basically his problem is that the system has now become a bunch of sellouts. And he's not happy about that. How's your poem coming? I thought you'd return to America. I decided to stay. See if I could convince you to escape. No. No. <laughs> Okay, let's see where this goes. Whatever they lack in um, technology, they have in discipline and overall just respect for the art of fighting, so. What is that more? No, you didn't say any words to him? Not even like I love you or... The way of the samurai is not necessary anymore. I will die by the sword, my own, or my enemies. And let it be your enemies. Keep fighting. I see Nathan's character development. I dig it. You believe, Anand. 
can't change his destiny. Anger man does what he can. This is so bittersweet and upsetting for me. Until his destiny is revealed. I've also never watched a movie like this. I I'm really kind of beginning to understand the concept of this movie in terms of it's essentially a, a soldier, an American soldier came to Japan to lead or train a Japanese army, but then in, ends up falling in love with the culture as being a prisoner of war. And it's just such a crazy culture clash for me that it's just, I can't really fathom it. You will need this. I don't know if I can actually say that Tom Cruise has become a samurai, but he has learned the way of a samurai, I think. So my my prediction with the movie wasn't wasn't too far off. Captain Olga, we will show you no quarter. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. He better take him out. He ha he has been wanting to murder this man since the very beginning of this movie. I need to see this happen. He needs his revenge, his payback. He does not like this man. They're coming. Start sniping them, quick! From all directions. Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. It's like the inevitable, you know? There's so many of them. I didn't see that many. Okay, they they come up with things. Their tactic is to also disorient them. I see you. I see you. What happened to the warriors at Palmapoli? Dead to the last man. Get in there. If only they had more like tricks up their sleeves. That would be cool. Not the old man. He was his protection, even until the end. This is madness. He's going to attack? Yes. He's defeated. He must accept his shame. He won't. That, that's like the whole definition of being samurai. Did This man doesn't understand. That must be terrifying to see running towards you. Oh my gosh, I don't like war. This is... Too much. Fire! Not the horses. The horses are cool, right? All right, the horses are cool. I feel so bad for the horses. They didn't ask for this. All they want to do is eat and hang out. But they're being forced to do this. This is so sad. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. Yes. Get him. Oh my gosh. Nathan got him. Let's go, Tom Cruise. You got him. <gasps> no! Don't they take forever to prepare, though? <laughs> I really don't like seeing this happening to the horses. This is actually really bothering me. Like, I don't think these horses know what acting is or, or how to act, so I don't think... That they're doing that for fun. <gasps> I should have known that if the title of the movie is The Last Samurai or The Last Anything, it's not gonna be a happy ending. Even he has some kind of conscience. No one likes to see that. I don't like that. I should have known. All the best characters, of course, are going to die. Mm. I enjoy a character. Guess we'll kill him. Every director ever, writer, whatever. Hate it. I will miss our conversations. <laughs> he was the last samurai. His life was worth living. Oh. 
see they still have some sort of respect and honor. I guess he's really the last person to have like the samurai way, I suppose. And these are the last samurai in the entire world? I... He's alive? They let him live? This is Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. Let the strength of the samurai be with you always. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me. And I will gladly take my life. He knows he's not his enemy. <gasps> he has to do it. He doesn't have enough respect, though. He does have the Michael Jackson glove. I was right. Tell me how he died. I will tell you. And so the days of the samurai had ended. As for the American captain, no one knows what became of him. He went back to his new family. Oh, I didn't expect this movie to get me in the feels at all. I say that about every movie, but that, that hurt to watch. That was really, that was a really good movie. So I just finished watching The Last Samurai and that was such a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect it to be like a culture class and then an all, also like a battle between tradition and getting with modern times. I didn't think that there would be so many moving parts when it comes in terms of like this movie at all, but it was so, it was so nice and I think that Tom Cruise did a really good job acting. Um I wasn't too much of a fan of the writing, but the visuals were beautiful. The Music, of course, was top notch because Hans Zimmer, I realized, was. He did the music, so, and I also didn't know that Tom Cruise's character was based off, was, uh, based off of, uh, like, a, a French man. So he's based off of someone, so I didn't know that. Um, it was nice, though. I really didn't expect it. I, I felt a little bit weird w at certain culture clashes, but overall, I really like that Tom Cruise's character eventually fell in love with the Japanese culture and tradition and stayed and it did technically have a happy ending although it was very bittersweet and sad and the whole the thing about samurai dying off and everything was just depressing but I think that it was so beautifully done and the fact that he had such an open mind and was treated with so so much respect I, I feel like it really um it showed that you know Japanese culture is very like welcoming to outsiders at least that's what I think. Now that is just my interpretation. That is what I see from what I see. Um, I've never been to Japan, so I don't know, but that's what I've seen. And I thought it was a really good representation of that. And the fact that Nathan, Tom Cruise's character, was so open-minded and just ended up, you know, a really kind of, how do I say, not assimilating. I feel like that's kind of not the way to say it. He really embraced the culture. And I think that was possibly my favorite, favorite part of the entire film. It was, it was such a nice movie and I don't know, it gives me so many mixed feelings. I don't really know how to describe them, so I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I did like the movie a lot. It was an experience, to say the least. That That's, I think, the way that I can describe it, is that it was an experience, and an experience that I really did enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed too. I'll be posting again very soon. Thank you guys so much. Bye.